Now this guy is extremely hilarious. Everybody give it up for uh, my good friend, Mr. Charlie Demers. Such a sunny uh, night for con Are you guys happy about the weather? Uh, yeah, it's sort of an exciting. Uh, I don't know. I was a little disappointed because um, because it was sunny today. My friends wanted to go play uh, beach volleyball. Um, and I'm not really a volleyball uh, guy. I don't I don't like any sports really. I think it it pretty much branches from my experiences in childhood, right? Because when you you learn sports when you're a kid in elementary school, right? And I, in elementary school, I was a fat kid, right? And uh, when you're the fat kid in elementary school, you always got to be two things, right? You always got to be funny, right? And uh, goalie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, inevitably, for me, uh, playing sp team sports, I just felt like uh, Piggy from Lord of the Flies. Was my, yeah, and my dad would bring a conch to games too. <laughs> And I was like, lunch? Already? This is insane. <laughs> I've grown up a lot, though. Uh, I don't I don't feel like Piggy. I rarely, I should say, feel like Piggy anymore. I uh, still a little vestiges of it when I lose my glasses. Um, it is, because it's a totally, it's an emasculating experience. Because, like... I mean, looking for my glasses, that's like, oh shit, I left my wheelchair upstairs. Like, that's all I use them for, uh, is looking at shit. And, uh, like, look, when I, if I close that all, they're not doing anything right now, except telling you maybe I might be a lesbian. Like, there's no, but there's no other thing that they're accomplishing. Are you looking? With the face all like a mole moving around the house. I can't stop that pussy fucking voice from the back of my head. This would be so much easier if we had our glasses. I'm not, you know, obviously I'm not like a macho guy. Uh, it's, it's starting to affect me in my. Some of the women in my life have been saying, oh, Charlie, you're not masculine enough. Um, and I actually find that after they've said something like that, like, I, I can't even look them in the face, you know? Um, mostly because I'm braiding their hair. Uh, <laughs> to be fair. I'm thinking about kind of going, trying to, like, sort of man up, because... My buddy, he just like uh, he he got um, he got a tattoo, right? This uh, and um, it's really cool. He got what he got? It's the Japanese character for uh, Celtic cross. And uh, <laughs> girls love it, and I love it. Uh, and I just wanted to get like sort of the mo uh, like a macho kind of. Tattoo, like if you saw it, it would make your vagina hurt. Uh, <laughs> and I, I thought about what, well, like, I, at one point I thought, well, I'll get, I'll get my balls on the, like, just one millimeter over, so it always looks like they're moving. Uh, <laughs> And then only get blowjobs from cross-eyed girls. Uh, I mean, the corollary. But now I'm thinking, I've settled on the design. It's what it's what it, I'm getting, it's a dragon breathing fire into the shape of a hawk. <laughs> which is holding in its uh, fire talons a, uh, a pirate ship. <laughs> with uh, jizz coming out of my head. I'm not, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't need it, right? Like, I don't, I'm not, like, on the scene or anything. I'm in, I'm in a committed relationship. I, uh, actually, I'm in an interracial relationship. Uh, obviously, I'm white. My partner is Asian, so, uh, sorry if you're not ready for that, Vancouver, but... <laughs> I 
know what you're thinking. She's not, I mean, she speaks. I'm not her ESL teacher. Uh, <laughs> those cats are there. I'm, tr I'm trying to help you. Uh, in, in North America, I am what you would call very, I, I'm handsome. I would be. <laughs> You know, you gotta watch out in an interracial relationship. You know, it can be a real minefield. It's not that hard, right? Like, red bean desserts yes. is like the hardest thing I've had to deal with. Uh, everybody goes, oh, the Chinese, they're so thin, it's a mystery. Well, try the desserts. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not that mysterious. I mean, I guess. The major advantage to having uh, Chinese in-laws is that um, I, we get uh, DVDs <laughs> of movies that haven't been written yet. Uh, There's some sort of interracial symbiosis going on where as soon as a, a Jewish guy thinks of it, a Chinese guy has it on DVD. <laughs> Anyway, that's my time. Thank you very much.